Welcome to another how-to video. Today, once again, we're gonna be looking at how to choose the correct three-ton cat next-gen machine. There's three models. This is going to be part two. We have a 302.7, a 303, and a 303.5. Three machines, all within one ton. So what are the differences? A lot of those were covered in the first video. But in this video, we're gonna be looking at the lifting difference on these machines. Now, when it comes to standard sticks, long sticks, and configuration, that's a question all in itself. But we're gonna be looking at the differences of what these three machines can do by the way they are configured. So to start off with, we're gonna be looking at the 303. Canopy machine, no extra counterweight, standard stick. We're gonna see how it manages this street plate. 2,450 pound, we'll see what it can do compared to the 302.7. 302.7 has a long stick and it does have the extra counterweight on, on it. And then we will compare it to the next gen 303.5. Long stick, thumb, bucket, coupler, and it also has the extra counterweight on. Now the machine width as far as stability and what it can do also plays into it as well. So if we look at the 302.7, that goes from 52 inches to 70 inches. So just shy of six foot. The 303 is a 60 inch wide, five foot machine. And then the 303.5 is a six foot wide machine or 72 inches. So we're gonna see how all that sort of different plays out. So let's get up into the 303 and uh, try the first one. Okay, so we're now up here in the Cat Next Gen 303CR. Uh, once again, just to reiterate, this is a standard stick machine. It has extra counterweight on it, but when you're lifting over the blade, counterweight makes no difference whatsoever. The counterweight only comes into play once you're lifting over the side or if you're trying to carry a weight. So let's see what it can do. Now the first thing, when you're lifting heavy weights, you want to bring the boom all the way into a seated position. So the first thing I'm going to do is to bring the boom to a seated position, just like that. Now I can see that the boom is in a seated position. So we're there. And then I'm just gonna go stick out. Simple as that. And let's see what it can lift. So over the front, lay down. That's pretty incredible lifting. Now I can stop it right there. I can have my ground workers back a utility trailer underneath it. I can lower it down to that utility trailer to transport it. I can then put the machine on top of that street plate and transport it that way, especially if I'm using a truck and trailer and I have a CDL for instance. So great lift the machine. Now I can't carry this weight. I can't put it over the side. The machine is just too unstable, even with that extra piece of counterweight on it. So, 303, great at lifting and placing a weight on and off of truck or trailer. So we're gonna go ahead and put that down and then we're gonna go try the same thing with the 302.7. So now we're up here on the Cat Next Gen 302.7 CR. This is also a compact radius machine. In this case, the bucket is just pinned on. Uh, there's no coupler on the machine. It does have a long stick. It does have the extra piece of counterweight. Um, this is an expandable undercarriage machine, so at full expansion, which it is right now, it's at 70 inches, so nearly six foot wide. And once again, what we want to do is to bring the boom up into a seated position. Uh, the blade sticks out a little bit further on this machine as a long stick, so I'm going to have to walk it over this blade a little bit to do that. There we go, we get it over the blade. And then once we get it out, we can bring that boom into the seated position. We'll just check it. So I'll put the boom back down, back up again. So boom into a seated position. And now let's see what it can lift. So I'm just going to go stick out. And this time you'll see, okay, it's a smaller machine. It's the 2.7. It cannot lift it up any higher than this. So it's stalled out. I cannot back a utility trailer underneath this machine. So this is when you start asking yourself, what do you need to do? What's your application? Do you need to get this on and off of a utility trailer or not? But one of the things that this smaller machine can do is because of the 70 inch wide platform that it sits on, I can bring the boom into a seated position and this machine will actually allow me to bring this weight all the way around the side. So I've got the side stability to do that. And once I get it all the way to the back of the machine, I can lift the blade up 
we'll just stabilize the weight just there so it's not swinging around too much. I can lift the blade up and anytime you're lifting anything, the blade behind you gives you more stability. And once that blade is up, I can now travel with this weight. So I've got great stability in travel. The 303, even though it's a size class bigger, it cannot travel with the weight because it cannot get the weight around the side of the machine. This machine not only got it around the side, but it can travel forwards and backwards once you get that blade behind you. And like I say, anytime you can travel with the blade behind you, it just gives you an extra free piece of counterweight and a little bit of extra stability. So like I say, you're asking yourself the questions, do I need to lift the weight? Do I need to manipulate the weight by moving it on the machine? So we can bring that back around the front and just to reiterate, 303, the first machine had a standard stick. 302.7 had a longer stick. And so we'll just wait for that weight to come around and then we'll place that out there. And now we're going to get the uh, next gen 303.5 onto the same weight. Okay, so now we're up here in the cat next gen 303.5. Our third machine in a three ton size class. You saw the 303 could lift the weight nice and high. You saw the 302.7 could not lift the weight anywhere near as high, but it could manipulate the weight and uh, transport it. Now we go to the three and a half ton machine. Long stick, fully tooled up. It's got a coupler on it, it's got a bucket, it's got a thumb, it's got the extra piece of counterweight. This is how a lot of our machines are configured in North America. So now we're just going to go ahead and lift it once again. Blade sticks out a little bit further. This is an angle blade machine. Once again, my blade is down and extra counterweight will not make any difference. But once again, you can see this easily, clearly lifts the boom into a seated position. And with the long stick machine, this can now give you the best of the 303 and the three and a half. So you can see I can lift it up. I can lower it down. Um, do whatever I sort of like with this weight, with even with this long stick and fully tooled up. I don't have to let the bucket off. You can see I can get it up above a utility trailer. I could back a utility trailer uh, underneath it, lower it down and lift it off a utility trailer. So let's see what it does over the side and can it travel with this weight. This machine is 72 inches wide or six foot compared to the 60 inch wide 303 and the just shy of six foot wide at 70 inches on the 302.7. The oversized stability is no problem whatsoever. So once again, I can get the weight all the way around to the back of the machine. And once I'm at the back of the machine, I can lift that blade up, use that blade as a little bit of extra counterweight, and I can easily travel with this 2,450 pound street plate forwards and backwards. And we'll just bring it back around the front once again over the side, no problem. And just place that weight back out, slow it down to make it stable and then place that weight back to where we started. So there you have it. That's sort of wrap on how to choose the right three ton machine out of the 2.7, 303, and 303.5 when it comes to lifting. Just once again, 303 lifts it nice and high. 302.7 does not lift it quite so high, but it can manipulate the weight and transport with it. And then a three and a half ton machine gives you the best of both worlds. Long stick, fully tooled, it can not only lift the weight, it can manipulate and carry the weight with no problem. For further information, contact your local CAT dealer and look out for further how-to videos in the future. Thank you for listening.